Okay, so in this particular problem here, we're given parallelogram PQRS with these particular versions, and we're going to translate it by vector negative 3, 5, and we'll call this transformation T, and large by a factor of 1 half, so we'll make that, call it E, and reflect across the x-axis, which we will call R. And it happens in that order. That means we're going to start with the translation, then we will go to the enlargement, and then we will go to the reflection. Well, the reflection over the x-axis means that 1, 0 stays as is, but 0, 1 becomes 0, negative 1. This is r. e will simply be a half, 0, 0, a half. It's this translation one that's a little bit trickier, okay? Because what the translation does is it takes the point x, y, and it adds onto that point the vector negative 3, 5, okay? And so it, so if we think about it, this happens first, and then this, and then this. But it happens, put it all together as such. So when I multiply this, these two here end up simply being just a half, 0, 0, negative a half, times x minus 3y plus 5. So then if I multiply these two together, I know it's a half times this one equals a half times x minus 3 plus a 0 times that. And on the bottom will be the 0 times x minus 3 and the negative a half times y plus 5, which is half x minus 3 halves and negative a half y minus 5 halves. Okay, and so this is the transformation. So this new image xy goes under this particular transformation. But I haven't actually answered the question as it's asked to put it as such. So what I know then is I want it to be ax plus some b. Well, if I backtrack over in my process to this matrix here, okay? I can see that I have a value. I have 1 half, 0, 0, negative 1 half, times an x, y, my plus a minus 3, 5. And so one of the things that I can do with matrices is I can distribute the A matrix into both. And so when I distribute that, it ends up being half, zero, zero, negative a half times x, y plus half, zero, zero, negative a half times negative three, five, which then I can say that this is a x plus this particular vector b will be negative 3 halves, or uh, negative 5 halves, and this here is b. And so that's how we can put it into the term ax plus b. Um, going through that process, you can probably do it faster when you're doing it like by hand, but that takes you through all the thinking. Okay, um, b part, well, once we have this particular uh, transformation, we just take each of these points individually, plug them in, and we get our scenario. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the area scenario. And if we pull this area question, we want to find the area of the new particular transformation. Well, I know that this is a half, zero, zero, negative a half x plus this transformation, translation, sorry. Okay, if I'm talking about area, the transformation, translation, sorry, does not matter to your area because you take your square and you just move your square around, like you just move it around and it doesn't change the area. So I know the new area is equal to the determinant of A times the original area, okay? And so the determinant of A is simply going to be negative a quarter 
subtract the zero times the original area. And I'll let you figure out the original area, but that is the key to here. You do not need to worry about the translation. You only need to worry about the matrix A.